Hi, I'm Carlos Moya from Spain. This week I will show you how the riding the fader technique works. I know some of you don't have Cubase, so to insert an audio file we click Archive, Import, Audio File. These two tracks are the same for a better listening to the difference after the riding the fader technique. It's a vocal fragment of one of my own songs. In Cubase, if you make a right click over a track, you will see a menu with some featurings. In this case, visualize automation. You can see a button with a W. This is for writing over the recording. I use it for sound corrections or in this case dynamic manipulation. So click, play and let's write. We raise our voices in the silent night. If you don't have a mixing board, you can do it manually with uh, with the DAW virtual fader. Now we will listen to the difference between both tracks. We raise our voices in the silent night. And now the manipulated track. We raise our voices in the silent night. You can see that the dynamic range is, is more stable and don't reach the red. And here's the lesson of this week. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoy it and see you on next week.